Hey there, Louis Akabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can disable Microsoft Teams LinkedIn integration. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now before I show you how to disable the Microsoft Teams LinkedIn integration, I want to clarify what specifically we're going to be disabling. Now, when you click into a chat in Microsoft Teams, if I click on the three more tab here, what you'll notice is that there is now a LinkedIn tab added to your chats and also on users' profiles by default. Now, based on the research that I've done, Unfortunately, it is not possible to disable this tab, to specifically have the LinkedIn tab be removed entirely from Microsoft Teams in chats. And it's also not possible to remove the LinkedIn icon here on user's profile card, which when you click it, it just brings you back into this particular page. Now, specifically, what we can disable is if I go ahead and click sign in now, on this prompt that is telling me to connect my LinkedIn account. What we can do is disable this so that users can't actually go through the process again of connecting their Microsoft account to their LinkedIn account. Now, just another quick note, when we disable this feature, what we're also gonna be doing is we're also gonna disable the same ability to connect your account and have that LinkedIn information show up in other places in your Microsoft 365 environment. Now, specifically, if I click into Outlook and I pull up a user's contact card and I click view profile, again, there's a LinkedIn tab here and there's still that option to sign in and connect the account. So with the change that we'll make in this tutorial, users won't be able to connect their LinkedIn account anywhere, either in Outlook, as you're seeing on the screen or in Microsoft Teams. So let's go ahead and let's look at how to actually disable this feature. All right, now to disable that Microsoft Teams LinkedIn integration, what you want to do is navigate to your Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Now, obviously you have to have administrator privileges over your Microsoft environment in order to get into Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Once you're here, you wanna go ahead and click on the Users tab. And from here, you wanna go ahead and click on User Settings. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see here this option that says LinkedIn account connections. And specifically, this prompt is saying, allow users to connect their work or school account with LinkedIn. So again, that is all we can disable. You'll see here on this slider that is set to yes by default. Now, you also have the option of changing this to selected group, which means if you wanted to keep this feature enabled only for a specific subset of your users, you could select this option, selected group, and then click on no group selected and you could apply this feature or enable this feature for one or more Active Directory groups. Now, if you want to disable this feature entirely, you just want to toggle this slider to no, and then you wanna click save at the top of your screen here. And you'll see here that the prompt shows successfully updated user settings. Now, important note, based on my testing, I've sometimes seen this feature be disabled immediately. And in other times, I've noticed that it's taken some time to actually propagate out into your Microsoft Teams environment and into Outlook. Uh, so again, just be patient. It may take anywhere between a few minutes to a couple of hours to actually take effect. Now, very quickly, if we go back into Microsoft Teams and we click into the LinkedIn tab again, and then we go ahead and click on the sign in now option, what you can see here is that we get this error message saying, sorry, we're having trouble signing you in. And if you read the error code, we can see here this message that reads LinkedIn app family service principle is disabled. So again, that is the result of us disabling the ability to connect your Microsoft account to your LinkedIn account. So that is how to disable the Microsoft Teams LinkedIn integration. There's only one other thing I wanna point out, and that is that you may come across this article and I've included the link to this article in the description below. This is technical documentation published by Microsoft. Now, unfortunately, again, there is no other way to remove the LinkedIn tab. Even if you were thinking of 
creating a policy and applying that through your GPO, your group policy object, you will notice here that there is some text and some instructions on how to disable LinkedIn account connections in Office 2016 applications. What I do want to call your attention to though is that this group policy affects only Office 2016 apps for local computers. And you can see this second part to the message that reads, if users disable LinkedIn in their Office 2016 apps, they'll still see the LinkedIn features in Microsoft 365. So again, based on my research, there's no way to disable that LinkedIn tab altogether through the admin centers or through creating um, a policy and applying that through your GPO. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how you can disable the Microsoft Teams LinkedIn integration. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.